Hello everyone, uh, excuse me, uh, peace of Christ to all of you and uh, I apologize for being a little bit late as you know we are Arab and our appointment is always perfect. Uh, you know I was taking the Al-Burak and Al-Burak is, uh, uh, you know, he's out of gas, so what we can do. Uh, because I was in, uh, you know, uh, yesterday Al-Burak he came and he took me to the Seven Skies and he told me where I like to go. I said, can we stop in San Diego? You know? And uh, he said, okay, San Diego, but you know, El Borac have a wrong GPS. Instead of taking me to San Diego, he take me to Toronto, you know. And he said to me, well, isn't it all of them, uh, when I scream at him, he said, isn't all of them end with O at the end? So, said, but there's a huge difference between San Diego and uh, Toronto. He said, that doesn't matter for me, they end with O and the Quran, all of it end with one letter. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, today we continue with this youth, Abdul. <coughs> Was terrified to death. I feel sorry for him. My room is freezing. Just to let you know. So uh, let us see how how Muhammad he knew this. I mean, how Muhammad he knew this. We, you know, we have to be always asking this question: How Muhammad knew this? How? This is a question which is very hard to answer. How a person who was born 1400 years ago, there is no internet, there is no, there's no, there's no library, there is no uh, Shakespeare, how he know this? Listen carefully. Is who created me? Where did I come from? What is my purpose in life? <coughs> Many people, they try to ignore this question or they throw theories at it. Nowadays we hear that people came out of nowhere, just evolution. Millions and billions of years, people just evolved. They just, without any design, without any creator, without any purpose. But ask yourself, be intellectually honest with... I suppose now he was trying to convince you if you're an atheist, come on, there's a creator, okay? And the creator, his name is Allah. Yeah. And this Allah, he made the Jews monkeys. <laughs> so, you are speaking to the atheist. The atheist, when I say to you, you used to be a monkey, and you are saying to me, no, to them, no, no, no. The monkey used to be Jews. Hmm. Let us move a little bit in because, I mean, uh, supposedly, like he is lecturing now, like he's trying to convince you there's the creator, brother. There is a creator. And who is the creator? A guy, his name is Allah, who have two hands in the right side of his shoulder. Your creator is near repair, man. He reminds me of the transformer when he went to fight and the guy who broke his arm. And then he lost a second arm. A god, he have two arms in the right side. What's wrong? Maybe the one who put him together was out of his screws. Or he lost some screws, so he glued him together. So let us jump here a little bit, because all this garbage, like, who created, etc. How created? Uh, who created? The, uh, okay. <clears throat> and by the way, he's reading from a screen. You can tell. This guy doesn't even know how to talk. He's reading from a screen. He doesn't know what to say. And mostly he's reading from Zach and Naik website. Using the scientific method, you have to have a hypothesis. My hypothesis that I'm going to put in front of you today. Your what? Hi, what? Hi, what, what? Your hypothesis? Oh, okay. The Quran is of divine source. Uh -huh. It could not it possibly have been written by a, name, by a man named Muhammad or anybody around him in the time period where it was revealed to him. No way. No way. In the time it was revealed to him, nobody to know this. No way. Please take a note. At that time, in the Arabian desert, hmm. a man who was ill. Where, where? Ah, the Arabian desert. Yeah, he looked like he is in the Arabia Saudi. He is from his right because you know the Muslims in San Diego, when they pray, they have to pray in the direction of Saudi Arabia. This is science. <laughs> How you can face the Kaaba, you idiot? If you are living in the earth, is the flat. The only way to face it if it's flat. Hey, continue. Literate. And even if you could read, he, he didn't have the libraries of the Greeks or the Romans or, or any of that kind of research in front of him to be able to read. Exactly. Nobody around him mm -hmm. could have known the scientific facts that are mentioned in the Quran. Absolutely. This is my hypothesis. Let's put it to the test. Today. Let us put it to the test. I love it. Stay in front of us. If we can test this theory against <coughs> available facts, available information that we have scientifically today, and if we can prove it that repeatedly if we can prove it and repeatedly it would come true then we have to agree that this is a fact that this book is of divine origins exactly so we look at 
scientific research look, in astronomy. Look, look at the screen here. Yeah. Okay. Come on. You will not be able to say it without looking at the screen. Okay. Uh, what it says? Astronomy. Quran speak about astronomy. Let us see the astronomy. What is the origin of the universe? Remember the origin of the universe. Remember, please. Origin. Ah, origin. Not only something. No, no. This is the origin. Okay. The galaxy. The planets. The origin of the galaxy and the planet. Hmm. Today, the accepted theory today is called the nebular hypothesis. The accepted, take a note. This is accepted theory. Accepted. The Abdul even approve it. Praise be to NASA. The Abdul approve this theory is not a theory no more. It's accepted. That means it's not a theory, you idiot. The second you say it's accepted, it's not a theory. Continue. And according to this, hmm. the sun and the planets in our solar system began as a giant cloud of smoke. Stop. You must be kidding me. So all our solar system was a smoke. Okay. And then it came together. And then came together. <clears throat> the smoke came together. What does that mean? As bodies. For example, planets and solar systems and galaxies. Ah, the smoke, you know, like smoke was smoking. And then the smoke said to the smoke, hey smoke, let us make a body. You be my body, I be your body. And the smoke became planet and the stars. Okay, I got you. This theory was proposed by Emmanuel Su Somebody saying something wrong with my microphone, guys. Is that true? Is my microphone bad? <clears throat> Is my microphone bad? Somebody saying something wrong with my microphone. <coughs> okay. Well, my friend, it looks like something wrong with your smoke, not my microphone. Your phone is smoking. Swedenborg. And then Immanuel Kant in 1755. His name is Emmanuel? Oh boy. Oh boy. All the ones who discover things, either they are Christian or Jews. Uh huh. Okay. So his name is not Abu Bakr? Uh, I wonder. Okay, what did this guy discover? He published this. 1,100 years, 1,100 years before them, the Quran, it stated, ثُمَّ اِسْتَوَى إِلَى السَّمَاءِ وَهِيَ دُخَانٌ What is the Quran? And I'm going to give you the chapter and verse numbers. Let's take a note, please. He will take you the chapter and the verse number. I mean, take a note. I mean, that, not like Christians, they don't give you the chapter number. And I want to give you the chapter. And look at his hand. He's waving it, you know. I will give you. I will give you. Give us. So you can look it up yourself. In the 41st chapter, in the 11th verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that He directed Himself towards this, the heavens and there were smoke. So how could a man in a desert... I don't know. The only smoke I see now is coming from your head. So you stupid idiot. Yesterday we made a video about this, but just for fun. If you are agreeing that the origin of the universe was a smoke, then you agree that your prophet is a fraud. Because your prophet don't agree. This is the chat that he posed for us, and we made a we made a video about it. You can go and watch it. But just a reminder: this guy, this potato, he did not quote everything. He quote the verse because if you read the verse, you will see that the earth is already created. So how he say that the whole earth, I mean the whole universe was a smoke and then he said to us go to chapter 41 here we go this is chapter 41 let us show you we are quoting exactly the same chapter he is mentioning let us show it in the screen with the number of the chapter chapter 41 41 okay 41 and verse number 11. So this guy, he jumped. He did not mention to you verse number 10, number 9, number 8, number etc. Because if he mentioned it, everybody will laugh at him. So if we go back a little bit, we will see that the earth is already created. In two days. And then in four days, Allah, he placed all mountains and sustain or measurement or let us say trees grass uh, water 
uh, as you see here it says and measured there in its uh, sustains sustains for the its dwellers in four days okay so two days plus four days this is six days already allah is screwed and then he went to the heaven and the muslim they say to us allah is not inside his creation creation but you just said to me he was in the earth and then he went up to heaven <laughs> and then uh, then allah he went to the heaven and the heaven was a smoke this is the verse he mentioned and then he made seven heaven but look what happened here the earth is already created but this is not what the theory is saying the theory was saying everything was a smoke and it doesn't say that the earth was created uh, uh, like uh, as he's you know I mean the earth is finished and, and at that point there was nothing 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 in the sky except there's no sky actually except only earth full of trees full of grass full of water full of oceans rivers as you see so this potato he jumped he did not show you the rest because the whole point he's trying to show you that the sky was a smoke and then Allah he made in the sky stars and the stars are made by Allah according to NASA to shoot NASA if they try to get out of the heaven of the earth this is science Allah he made the lamps as missiles so he can shoot them against shaitan but brother where shaitan live he live in the earth brother okay so each time shaitan he tried to leave the earth Allah shoot him by missile and this is the theory of the smoke Allah is smoking the shaitan have you ever heard of a stupidity and deception more than this so he did not quote the beginning he start from the end in order to deceive you however the story is not over here now we will talk about and this is the title of the video the sun and the moon has an orbit you know by the way i'm very good in orbiting things the last time a muslim he debated me he have an orbit of birds going around his head let us see what kind of orbit i will leave for this guy so let us jump to the orbit thing we finish with this one orbit orbit where is the orbit the sun and the moon they move in an orbit how do we know that yeah. galileo in 1632 he used his invention the telescope galileo uh, uh, the sun and the moon do what excuse my ignorance came up with this you may say okay he guessed it was huh? a lucky guess Okay, let's put that to the test. Lucky guess. <laughs> the sun and the moon, they move in an orbit. How do we know that? Galileo in 1632, he used his invention, the telescope, to look and prove that the sun and the moon, they have an orbit and they move in that orbit. But over a thousand years before Galileo, with no telescope and no ability to have any scientific work in front of him, Hey, come on, Muhammad, he can close his fingers like this and he can look through his hand. Come on, man. I mean, come on, don't exaggerate too much. I mean, he can make a telescope in two seconds. Muhammad, he can make the miswak, he make a hole in it. And this is the first Arabic telescope. Are you saying we are the Arab, we, don't, uh, we did not uh, invent telescope? Come on, don't say that. People will laugh at us. By the way, you are not an Arab. I can't tell. No, we don't open our mouth like you. Go ahead. How could a man named Muhammad, peace be upon him, in a desert have known that? But in the Quran, in the 21st chapter, 33rd verse, it says, What does Allah say? No, no, no. Go back, go back. Go back, go back, go back. Go back. Go back. I want to show it in the screen. Muslims, Christians, Hindus, Jews, Atheists, Buddha, rabbits, birds. Listen carefully. A miracle is going to happen. In the 21st chapter, 33rd verse, it says, What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us in the Quran? In the 20th in, in what again re remember the, the verse number guys i want the verse number 
33rd verse. It says, Hu alladhi khalaq al-layli wa nahar With no telescope and no ability to have any scientific work in front of him. How could a man named Muhammad, peace be upon him, in a desert have known that? But in the Quran, in the 21st chapter, 33rd verse, it says, Hu alladhi khalaq Stop. 21st chapter, 33 verse. Okay, this is the 21st chapter, and this is the 33rd. Uh oh, uh oh, the coward, the liar, the potato. Guys, I want to play what he said, his audio, and I want one of you to tell me what he did we got him busted we got him busted he said the sun and the moon they all flip in an orbit did he quote that he created the light and the day and the sun and the moon and each one of them he go in orbit no did he mention the night and the day maybe i miss it let us play. let us say let us see again Aha, you skip the day and the night. Uh, afraid, and afraid, you will. You will, and afraid. Uh, you are a bad boy. Afraid from. Afraid, by the way, is a story in the Quran about a guy, he is a genie. He said to Solomon, If you want, I can bring you this hot woman right away. Afraid. Afraid to mean a jinn. Afrit, you know Afrit? You watch those movies like Afrit Genie, like the word the guy is bald, you know? He looked like somehow like Samsa Moon, brother, you know? Yeah, he's Afrit. What you said again? What is what is running in orbit? In front of him, how could a man named Muhammad, peace be upon him, in a desert have known that? But in the Quran, in the 21st chapter, 33rd verse, it says, Hu alladhi khalaq al-layli wa nahar wa shamsa wa al-qamar kullu fi falakin yasbahoon. Oh, that to have to be honest, he mentioned it. He mentioned it. The the he uh, he he does lazi khalaqa what? Shamsa wa nahar. He say it again. With no telescope and no ability to have any scientific work in front of him, how could a man named Muhammad, peace be upon him, in a desert, have known that? But in the Quran, in the twenty-first chapter. 33rd verse it says huwa alladhi khalaq al-layli wan-nahar wash-shamsa wal-qamar kullu fi falakin yasbahoon what does allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us in the quran in the 21st chapter 33rd verse hmm. he says and he it is he who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon each traveling in an orbit you idiot donkey you just said each of them traveling in orbit so do the say the day and the night they go each in air uh, uh, orbit too? <laughs> you God Allah, you think that the day and the night are created? No problem, we can let it go. But they go in orbit. So you stupid, you are talking about the moon. You say the moon and the sun, they have an orbit, but now your, your God saying that the sun and the moon and the day and the night, they have an orbit. And this is why it says, Kulun, all of them and each go in an orbit. So your stupid prophet, he is saying that those are going in an orbit and the orbit here mean what? We are going to show you what Muhammad said about the orbit. He got, he will spank you badly, your prophet. Your prophet, he helped me always to spank Abdul. Actually, I use his hand to spank you. I don't spank you by my hand. I want to keep my hand clean. You know, there's Kolona these days. And it is he who has created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon. And each of them, he float into an orbit. If we go to Ibn Kathir, because this Abdul, he might say, no, 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 I know you don't know Arabic. Arabic is my first language, no, still you don't know Arabic. We can go and see the interpretation, and everybody will laugh at you. Chapter 22, verse number 33. Let us go to other fraud. His name is Ibn Kathir. Okay. Ibn Kathir. Here we go, we are in Ibn Kathir. 
Da, 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 da. When you see me singing like this, da, 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 that's me. It's very cold, very cold, very cold. Da, 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 da. Okay. <clears throat> brother, read with me carefully, brother. This is Ibn Kathir. Here we go, Ibn Kathir. Just let us go to the top so we'll not say, oh, this is not Ibn Kathir. This is Um Kathir. This is your Islamic website, and this is your fast translation for Ibn Kathir in Arabic, chapter 21 from 30 to 33. Ibn Kathir. You see it? Ibn Kathir. Okay. I'm not quoting Ibn Kathir, I'm quoting Ibn Kathir. Here it says, It is he, it is he who created in the night and the day, meaning the one with darkness and stillness, and the other with light and a human interaction. Sometimes the one is longer, while the other is shorter, then they switch. Ah, uh, okay. Washamsu wal qamar and the sun and the moon. The sun, it is own light and own bath and an orbit, allotted time. And the moon, which is shines with different light, travels on different path. This is the interpretation. Remember, okay. And then he says, Kulun fi. Okay, each of them. I don't know if you guys can see it. The text is so small. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Hold on. That's better. Each, each, in an orbit, floating, meeting, floating, meaning, revolving. Let me Abbas said, they revolve like spinning wheels in a circle. This is Ibn Abbas saying. Okay. And then he says, he is clever, uh, he, he clever that they break, etc., etc., etc. You know what? Uh, the explanation for, for each one of them is not showing. Hold on. I think there's a mistake here. Let us do this. Let us see which page. I think it's different verse where he say, each one of them float. Give me a second. Because the whole point is showing him that each one of them float, right? Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, we have to go to chapter 36, verse number 40. You will die laughing now. Because the same chapter 36, verse number 40, is speaking about the same thing, that each one of them run into an orbit. Let us go there. And again, this is Ibn Kathir. And again, this is chapter 36, number 40. And you will see that the day and the night and the moon and the sun, they go into an orbit. In a second, we will get them busted. Already we did, actually. But anyway, we are trying just to show them reference from their own books, so they will not say, it doesn't say that, CB. Here we go. They all float, each in an orbit, meaning the night, the day, the sun, the moon. All of them are floating, i.e. revolving in orbit. And this is what the verse is saying, that all of them, they are floating. So the day have an orbit, the night have an orbit, the sun have an orbit, the moon have an orbit. Now, when somebody, when the Muslim, they say, you know, the, you know, the Ibn Kathir is a person came, you know, 800 years after uh, and he, when he say uh, this you know people they became more like smart and 
try to avoid saying stupid things supposedly. Ibn Kathir in his time is like those Abdul in this, in this time today. He was adopting what is in the science at that time. But yet he could not resist to say the truth that his prophet claiming that night and day, sun and the moon, they have an orbit. You notice here there's no earth. The earth does not have an orbit. Why? Because the earth is fixed and the earth is a flat and everything move in the top of it. Now, how we can expose again more stupid things Muhammad he made in this story? If we go in the hadith, ask yourself, who is the one, the guy he was praising Muhammad for knowing things 1400 years ago, right? Talking about the sun have an orbit and the moon have an orbit. Let us see how Muhammad described the sun orbit. What, what orbit we are talking about? Is it the scientific orbit? Because Muhammad, he have different description. When they ask Muhammad, Muhammad, he mentioned, Muhammad, he asked himself, do you know where the sun set? I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, behind his doki. While the sun was setting, I asked, do you know where the sun set, the set, which means sun? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said it's set in a spring of warm, uh, hot water, muddy water. Sahih, in chain. We go to different hadith, and we will choose only Sahih, so Abdul will not be upset, because already he is upset. Upset mean he is jumping in the top of his chair. Once I was behind the Prophet, always you have to be behind the Prophet, you cannot be in front of him, he is dangerous. You sit in front of him, you lost your virginity. So they don't trust him to sit in front of him, they sit in the back. Once I was with the Prophet, in the mosque, and at the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, Abu, O oh Abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set? Listen carefully, the one is talking is Muhammad, not, not Abdul in YouTube. Not a potato tomato trying to lie to us about an orbit. This is the orbit. Listen carefully. I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. And you notice here that the Muhammad and they associate the knowledge of their God and the knowledge of Muhammad together because they are mushrikeen, they are kuffar, they are infidels. Yet they don't eat pork, as the Old Testament says, because trying to copy the Jews, but obviously they are infidels, because they associate the, knee, the, the knowledge of a man with the knowledge of God. Both of them, they know best. For Muhammad, he know best, obviously. He said, it goes, who, who said Muhammad? It goes and prostrate underneath Allah's throne. And that is Allah's statement. And the sun runs to its fixed course for a term and a degree. Chapter 36, verse number 38. Muhammad explaining Quran now. Here we go, the orbit again. Chapter 36, verse number 38. This is the daily orbit of the sun. The sun goes every day from the east to the west. And then go and sleep under the throne of Allah, which is in the top of the hot, muddy water. So now if we ask ourselves, which one you should listen to? Which one he is telling what Islam teach? Abdul in YouTube or Muhammad words? Do you see it? The sun saying, the sun, he says where it goes, he said it goes. Describing what? Describing the sunset. So Muhammad, the saint, Dr. Muhammad, sorry, Dr. Muhammad, he described where the sun goes every day, the movement of the sun, and saying that the sun goes and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. So do you see how those fools, they try to fool you? Is it really how the sun disappears every day? The sun goes under the throne of Allah, and he mentioned that during the sun set. And then the story continues, by the way, because the sun do that every day, this is Sahir Bukhari. Every day the sun, the same story here. Do you know where the sun goes? Allah, oh, an apostle, no, uh, no better, no best. He said, it goes, I eat travel. Mm -hmm. The sun is traveling when the sun said, I thought the earth is going around itself. Eh, not for Muhammad, science. So the sun goes, I eat travel, till it's prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. 
underneath the throne of Allah and take permission to rise again. Uh, just to make it simple for you, this is this is the sun. You know, I cannot resist my skills in drawing. Even the room is cold and I don't know how I can hold the... Excuse my art now, if today the, the art is not so good. So, brother, this is the earth. <coughs> now the earth is... Uh, let us make it not straight. I mean, straight is not good. Have you ever heard of an earth? Yeah, the Quran says we make it like a mahd. Straight. Flat. So, uh, uh, this is the earth. Okay, this is the earth, brother. All right. And then every day, brother, the sun, brother, goes and prostrate. Let us draw the sun. I will make it, uh, uh, you know, uh, red, red sun, red sun. Okay. So this is the sun. The reason the sun is not totally circle because I hit it in her head. Okay. And the sun have two horns according to Muhammad. I can show you the hadith. So the sun goes, brother, every day in the morning, like this, then like this, you know, like this, okay, and like this. And here, during the sunset, Muhammad was in a donkey. This is Muhammad. This is the donkey, sorry, not Muhammad. Muhammad looked different. This is the donkey, okay, and Muhammad in the top of the donkey. And there's a guy behind him. And a very important conversation happening, and the donkey needs to have a tail. Okay, this is the tail of the donkey. Okay. So, Muhammad said to the guy behind him, do you know where the sun set? Muhammad, when he asked this question, brother, the sun was going in a certain direction, and it's still, you know, like, it was like going in a sunset position. In a sunset position. So, this is what the position, position of the sun. Okay. So Muhammad, he saw the sun there. He said to the guy behind him, do you know where this sun goes? The guy behind him, he said, oh no, brother, a prophet? No way. Allah and his uh, God know, uh, and his uh, Muhammad know better. So Muhammad, he said, <laughs> okay, I will tell you. The sun goes under the throne of Allah and prostrate every day. Okay, so let us make a throne. We need a throne now. The throne is missing. Okay. So this is the throne of Allah. Yeah, thank you very much because so far saying my drawing is amazing. I know that, you know, I was like the number one in the, in the, uh, uh, in the, in the universe uh, drawing uh, 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 competition. All right, so this is the throne of Allah and Allah here is sitting in the top of it. He have two arms in the right side. This is how you know this is Allah. If you have an arm in the left and arm in the right, that's not Allah for sure. Maybe this is his, uh, you know, the one who cleaned the chair. So Allah sitting in the chair here and then the brother, the sun keep going and keep going, going down, going down, and then go down in the water. Here there's a water. Let's make a blue water. I like a blue. This is why there is a song they made for this purpose. Uh, it's about the sun going under the water. It's called Oh Mommy, Mommy Blue. So this is the water. And then the sun, brother, go underneath the water which is under the throne, which is the throne in the top of the water, and hide inside warm water. And then the sun in the morning, she said to Allah, Allah, can I rise again? Allah, he gave a permission. <laughs> hey Muslims, am I lying? Isn't this what happened? We showed you the hadith where Muhammad said the sun set in a murky water. And by the way, this is in the Quran, in chapter 18. And Muhammad said it goes every day and ask Allah permission to go back and rise again. Here we go. Read it. I did not make anything up. This is what your prophet is saying. So don't say this is not true. So it goes, I eat trouble. till it's prostrate itself underneath the throne and take a permission to rise again. So it was down, rise again. It was down. Remember, when you say it, it take a permission to rise, 
that it means was way down under the throne, which is in the water. And then it's permitted. Then time will come and it will be, uh, it's going to be about to prostrate itself under the throne of Allah. But Allah will say, no, I don't accept your prostrate. And it will ask permission to go in its course, which is the same day, go under the, the throne and then go back to rise. And then it will not be permitted but it will be order to return whence it has came from. So it will rise from the west. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, how you know, how Muhammad he knew this 1400 years ago? Be honest. The guy in the video, he was honest with you. He mentioned to you Galileo, Galileo, Galileo. You put Galileo, Galileo with this. The sun goes every day. This is the sunset. Are you sure? And the sun go under the throne of Allah. And then the sun ask Allah, Can I like Allah? Can I go back? Raised from the east. Allah will keep it divine permission every day until time will come, and Allah will say no. You come back where you came from. Which mean what? Which mean you come back from here. And this is what the hadith is saying. You come back from the West. This is what uh, the science they say to you. Hmm? The sun is a changing direction of where it's coming. It's obviously clear that Muhammad saying that the sun is the one going every day from the east to the west. And by the way, Muhammad did not describe to us how the sun come back from the east usually. Because all what he say, it go under the throne of Allah and then ask permission to come back. And it come from the east. But anyway, what Muhammad he made or he said is way important. I mean, from those, this Pakistani boy, pizza guy, who was trying to fool us saying that Quran speak about orbit. This is the orbit. And actually even Muhammad he mentioned clearly that this is what he meant when he said, and the sun run in its own cur course, fixed course. This is the orbit, do you see it? Muhammad not only he caught the Quran, Muhammad he explained a verse in the Quran, explain how it function, explain what it's meant, that the sun runs to its fixed course for a term and decree. Can the Muslims say this is not true? Can the Muslims say you are lying? Trust me, they will. Even though the hadith says so, and if you remember, we have a sister Fifi uh, who said, uh, "Yes, this hadith is sahih." You remember Fifi? Anyway, it's a sahih Bukhari. Anyway, who cares if Fifi said or not? But sister Fifi, she support me too. She said, "Yes, yes, Radwan, this hadith is sahih, Radwan. Put that in your skull. The Prophet refuted you, Radwan. Do we have any Radwan here?" So obviously those people, they are fooling you. They are a bunch of liars. And hmm. uh, uh, anyone will use a bad language in the chat, I will block you. Now I will give you a warning. Next time you see a filthy word stone, I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. Even if you are trying to insult someone supposedly, he deserve it. Nobody use bad language in my chat. All right. So as you see here, my friend, those people, they are a bunch of a fraud. They try to fool you. I want you, if you are honest, little bit honesty. Muhammad explained very well where the sun goes, how the sun function. The Muslim, they say to us, how Muhammad he knew this 1400 years ago? Well, obviously, he knew this 14 years, years ago, which is a stupid. What they say to us, he knew, is an idiot talking, claiming that a God told him. 
The sun is set in the murky water. <clears throat> this is a verse not only Muhammad he confirmed it in the hadith, it's confirmed in the Quran. The Muslim they say, oh, this is how it appeared to Alexander the Great, Zulqarnain, the man with the two horn. Nowhere in the verse it says that. So why you are adding words? Why you are saying false statement? The one is talking is Allah. It's not Alexander the Great. Did Allah say it so he thought? Don't you Muslims say that Allah language in Arabic is the best? Well, if he thought, Allah, he will say he thought. Is he short of Arabic to say he thought? Don't you know? He says, Adhanna? Ataqada? No. He says, Allah, he said to them, Oh, Muhammad, I will tell you about Zulkarnain. They are asking you about Zulkarnain. The Jewish always, they get Muhammad busted. That's why he hate them. They said to him, Can you tell us about Prophet Zulkarnain? But Zulkarnain is not a prophet. The guy is a bisexual. It's Alexander the Great. He said, Muhammad, he went home, stayed there for two weeks, trying to find the internet, search Google, brother, because someplace there is no Google at that time. That's why Muhammad, he got the story wrong. So they said, he's, okay, I will tell you, Muhammad, I will tell you about the Quran. Tell them, tell them, I will reveal something to you about his story. Verily, we establish his power on earth. Allah is the one who established the power of the Quran. Hmm. And we give him a way of all means, all the end, because he's a prophet. Uh, okay, when uh, such a way he followed until brother, until he reached the sitting of the sun. It doesn't say that, CP. Change the translator. It's a sitting place of the sun, brother. <laughs> and then to solve the problem, they say, Oh, no, no, no. It's not Allah saying that. This is Zul Karnain. He thought, you idiot. Do you see? It says Allah talking until when he reached the sitting of the sun, he found it. He report a finding, the same as this guy reporting a find of Galileo. If your God Allah know about Galileo, he will mention that. So he found it sitting in a murky spring. And by the way, the Muslim, they say to you, well, don't you know the Zulkarnain, he saw it uh, the going down in the ocean. So he thought it's appeared, this appeared there, but not Allah. First of all, there's no ocean, you idiot. Don't you see the word spring? Since when the spring is an ocean? This is a legend that the sun goes every day, rest in this hot spring so to get, to get her heat. Because they learn that there is hot springs in some places and they are boiling non-stop. So they were wondering why this boil is always very hot, bringing heat. So the sun go in a muddy spring, sleep there, get its heat back and come back. Because by time, go in the morning and then by noon it's so hot and then it cooled down cooled down cooled down cooled down cooled down and they disappear and that make them believe it's going in a muddy spring of water which is hot so this is the quran and this is the science of the prophet and remember we showed you we showed you what muhammad he said not what a christian prince he said this is not my opinion that the sun goes every day from the east to the west, prostrate itself. Science doesn't say that. Science says that the day happened because the sun is not the reason, it is the earth. The earth is rotating around itself, and that caused the day and the night. So when the Quran says the day and the night and the moon and the sun, they go in an orbit, he is a stupid, he considers the day as an object, the night is an object, the moon is an object and they are going in an orbit as Muhammad described here. So when those fool Abdul, they try to fool you, we spank them and we expose them. I'm not going to keep you long. We will try to come back later. Okay, shall I come back later? You know what? I will come back uh, right away. Uh, not right away. I mean, what right away? Let me see the schedule. I have 13 wives, guys. I mean, it's not easy. I'm a very good prophet. I have time for Allah, time for boom boom, time for uh, 13 wives and 13 mother-in-law. Can you believe it? And I made a verse saying, any Muslim woman, she give, she wanna give me her panty as a gift, I mean her private part. Because I'm a very decent man, brother. 
and they am busy I'm busy with scientific discovery but because I'm busy with scientific discovery how Muhammad he knew this how Muhammad he knew that he as a prophet he needed women to give themselves their vagina to him I mean think about it this guy is working so hard Allah he decided to give him reward so he made a longer chapter all of it is about sex it's lawful for you to have boom boom with your wives and your cousin and the cousin of the cousin and the cousin of the cousin of the cousin and the cousin of the auntie and the cousin of the uncle cousin cousin but again cousin mother cousin and then the cousin, cousin and the daughter of the cousin and the daughter of daughter and the daughter of and the daughter of, and the daughter of etc and the daughter of your uncle from the side of your mom it's have it's okay to have sex with them and it's okay for you to have sex with any immigrant women who immigrated for you brother and not to forget brother that any woman she decide to give herself to the prophet to do boom boom she is lawful for you and she is only privilege for you in the top of that brother not only women who offer themselves to give themselves to boom 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 you can have them don't forget the slave brother who you capture in war for Allah is signed for you man this is a size of a city Allah he went to his office and he start writing what is lawful for Muhammad to do boom boom to it what is missing that Allah did not mention the disposal machine because look like anything have a hole Muhammad wanna do boom with it. I mean who left? But what I make it, I mean I find it funny. Allah he said to Muhammad, your wives are lawful for you. <laughs> they are already his wives, you donkey. So all this time he was having sex without permission. O Prophet of Allah, we made made lawful for you your wives to whom you paid their mahar. Okay, well, the guy is already doing boom with them for the last 20 years. Now you remember to say a verse. It's, I made lawful for you the wives. You ask the Muslims, why the Prophet he have 13, the Muslim can have only four. O the Prophet, he have a special privilege. His license plate, it says he can, if anyone, open Lim unlimited, you know, like when you know, like don't you have like some company they say give you uh, unlimited text and messages? Well, Muhammad he have unlimited boom boom, a privilege. Uh, why Prophet Muhammad have unlimited privilege for boom boom? Because he's a prophet. Mm -hmm. A prophet of God, he will be busy spreading the truth, fighting for it. I mean, what's wrong with having one woman, two women? Four, why unlimited? Because he's a prophet, you stupid idiot. You think he's like us? When he's not like us? No, he's not like us. First of all, he know things 1400 years ago, nobody knows, save Allah. And as you see, he discovered where the sun goes every day under the throne of Allah. So people of murky water, Muslims who you believe that Allah is a shin and he have two hands on the right side and he have a foot and he have fine finger, have five fingers and yet you think he is not a man so he's what is an octopus no problem this is the orbit of your prophet stop lying to people we got you busted and everybody is laughing now we made this potato we, we offer him a challenge do you think he will accept it the coward even he uh, disable the comment in the section in the video where he said you want to debate me why because I think I think me myself I posted there I don't know I'm not sure but I think I posted there you know when they send me the video that's hey Abdul come you know or I don't know maybe you guys start posting too I don't know what a shame how the prophet knew this now I advise you after discover that the prophet he is the only one discover that the sun goes every day and travel and prostrate under the throne of Allah and ask permission to come again I ask you to agree that Muhammad he had many degrees degrees not degree is Dr. Muhammad from now on don't call him prophet Muhammad please Call him Dr. Narrative in the Holes, like Yasser Kadi. You have to add doctor. You have to add the word doctor. We cannot just call him prophet, because this is not just a prophet. This guy, he knew about astronomy, 
he knew about biology. As an example, biology. Biology. He knew that the sperm coming from the backbone. How he knew that? I mean, the backbone is where the sperm coming from. True. And women have a sperm coming from their ribs. This is true. How Muhammad he knew that? Let, let me show you this one before we go. How Muhammad he knew this? Which is the only reason make me think maybe I can get married because I was afraid my son would look like me. But now by the help of the Prophet of Allah, I am sure that will not happen because I know the method to prevent it. The Messenger of Allah said, the man water is white and thick and the woman water is thin and yellow. And whichever of them comes first, the child resembles the parent. <laughs> So Muhammad teaching the Muslims that women, they have a sperm and their sperm is thin and yellow. And this is what they see is gushing forth. And this is what we see in chapter 86, verse number six and seven. How Muhammad he knew this? Oh, sorry, Dr. Muhammad, Dr. Hall in the narrative. The one who come first, the child will resemble him. Are you sure? And this is Sahih. So you cannot say this is weak and this garbage, you know, the, 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 how he knew this? My friend, if you are a person who look really scary like me, you scare the hell of people when you go in the elevator, you say good morning, nobody say hello back because they are scared. Never come first. You don't want your son to look like you. And actually, here is speaking not only about the son, speaking about, uh, uh, I mean, the child will resemble the parents here is speaking about the gender too so your son if you come first he's going to be a male if you are a male the male who come first and he will look like you and if the women come first he will be a fe she will be a female and will look like her mother now if your wife she is not good looking then you better come first I mean, the bent who is better looking, hello? <laughs> How the Prophet knew this? You tell me. 1400 years ago, there's no library, there's no internet, there's no 5G, there's no the, the crazy stuff. How he knew this? Huh? You tell me. I, 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 I challenge you, I challenge you to find me a solution for this. And now the Muslim, they will try saying, oh, chromosome, somosome, formosome, etc., somosome, science. You know, they play the games, you know, as usual. But we laugh and we die laughing at the stupidity. I want to say thank you, guys. <clears throat> uh, I want to I wanna thank you for uh, for being here. And I want to thank you for support. And by the way, I'm thinking to take a PhD uh, from Prophet Muhammad in, astro uh, in uh, no, not in astrology. This is a different word. In uh, astonishing stupidity. You know, I think Muhammad is the most qualified person to give me a degree in astonishing stupidity. Which means there you have to you have to be you have to earn the degree. I mean, you have to be extremely stupid. To get it from the most stupid person who claimed to be a prophet, he's the only one he can give you such a debate. I'm sorry, such a such a degree. So, I think uh, that's a good thing. There's a guy. His name is Tom. What he want? Tom David is a Muslim. He want to discuss with you. He want to discuss with me what? No, I don't think he is even a Muslim. Anyway, so I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, we will try to come back live again, maybe afternoon. And my time, which is going to be, I mean, night time, not, not afternoon. Night time in USA. So if you like to join us, please feel free. And we encourage all the Muslims, all the smart ones, you are genius, you know, to keep believing in the Prophet Muhammad. And please, please, if you are ugly, don't come first. We have enough ugly dudes around us in this earth. Unbelievable. Can we see some good looking people? I mean, the world today became like zombie. You walk in the street like, Look what happened? Now I know what happened. All the ugly dudes are having orgasm first. Enough is enough. It is time to change it. Please don't have orgasm first if you are an ugly dude. Let your wife have orgasm first. 
so we can see good looking people in the road you idiot don't you see what's happening around you crazy people someone say CP no one is ugly I don't know where this stuff where so how come women they say to me you are not good looking hmm huh? I think you have a problem with your eyes you know actually I told my dad I told him that I know what happened he said what are you talking about I said you have a, a orgasm first he said hey, son behave how you talk to your father like this I said oh I said, there's no uh, shame in science in Islam Islam says there's no shame in the religion uh, the Prophet says if you have orgasm first the baby will look like the father and now I know why I look like this thank you very much and my, my father was astonished, like, what? Almost he converted to Islam, by the way, like almost. I mean, like almost. Yeah, true story. Anyway, thank you very much for being here. See you later. God is willing. Christ is Lord. And we got them busted. Subscribe to our channel and to our Patreon to be updated when we will go live. And you can read my books from Amazon.com. And Lord have mercy in the fool and the foolishness and the one who follow them if a fool like muhammad can fool you how fool are you that's my message to you thank you god bless you and see you soon by the way don't forget to download the videos in a few hours from now i will take them down all of them thank you